Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from DopeMotions.com as always and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this really simple but really creative and cool looking slide animation in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's rename this to main comp 1920, 1080, 30 frames and 10 seconds. Hit OK. So right off the bat, we can start by creating our text. So you can type in absolutely anything that you want to go with. I'm going to type in, you can do it. I mean, why not? So let's align this. Oh, first of all, I'll increase the size somewhere around 200 change the color and I'll just align this in the center like so maybe I'll keep it at 50 yeah then hit ctrl D to duplicate it let's drag this type in can change the font to maybe a heavy unisans there we go and make this a semi bold. Yeah, it's already semi bold. Make this a bit bigger, maybe around 300 pixels. Now, it absolutely depends on you what you want to write or what you want to create. You can anytime change it later on as well. So, I'm just gonna select the U, duplicate it, bring this down by holding Shift and type in do it. Okay, we'll just do it. There we go, something like that. And then we can animate our text. So before that, we can just pre comp it. Let's call this text01 underscore 01. And then I'm going to create a new composition for our image or footage. You can add anything that you want to go with. For the tutorial, I'm just going to add an image. Hit OK. So here we are in the media composition of our image. So you can drag in whatever image that you want to go with i'm just going to drag in this car image just scale it down a bit it's like so let's go back in our main comp and drag in our media composition just like that put it below our text and set the track mat to alpha map and you can see right off the bat we get this really cool look and the changes that you're going to do in the text composition like something like that maybe it's gonna update it right in the main comp so now what I can do is I can duplicate this media again create one more copy make it red so we can just identify it and see it more properly put it below set this to none and create a new solid this is gonna be our overlay so let's just name this to overlay hit ok bring this right over there and now we have something like that which looks really really cool i think i'll make do it and you heavy as well let's make it heavy and just align this in the center just make sure that it's in the center there we go Now you can animate our text, but before that, I'm going to animate our main slides. So what I'm going to do is, I can, you know, animate this overlay like so. You can see the text gets revealed and that is exactly, that is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go to 1 second and 10 frames maybe and hit P to bring down the position properties of the overlay. Click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe, drag this out just like that by holding shift just to be precise oh i'll go at the very beginning and drag this out so now we have something like that select it hit f9 to ease them go to graph editor and get a bit motion like that see looks pretty cool you can also add some scale animation to our text so i'm going to go to right over at three seconds create a keyframe on the scale go back in time set this to 
90. So we have a little bit of scaling animation as you can see, looks really nice. And then what I'm going to do is, after 3 seconds, or maybe I'll just drag this out to 4, maybe 5, let's keep it 5, to give it a little more space. So at 3 seconds, what I'm going to do is, I want this text to animate outside. So let's select the text, hit P to bring down the position properties, click on the stopwatch, go to around 4 seconds and drag this text right over there. Just right out like that. Go back at 3 seconds, select the overlay and the media, hit P to bring down the position properties, create a keyframe by hitting right on the diamond icon right over there at 4 seconds and drag the overlay and the media out like so. so now we have something like that now you can see it's not lined up so let's select all the keyframes so definitely to ease them so that they are lined up like that I guess we need to animate the media as well right over there so we can just select the position properties of this media hit ctrl c to copy it select the media above and hit ctrl v to paste it so now we have something like that. See, it looks pretty cool. So select this and go to Graph Editor. And I'm going to create a peak of motion just we created something like before. Something like that. See, it looks pretty cool. You can see we have a little bit of problem right away there. You can see. So let's try to fix this. You. Oh, we didn't select this keyframe. That is why. It's weird. So we select F9 to reset the keyframes. Then we can go back and just do the same animation. Yep. So now we have something like that. Looks really nice, simple. And now what we can do is we can add some animation into our text composition. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool. We don't need the stroke. We need the fill something like a gray and I'm going to create a rectangle like so which is going to act as a track mat for our animation so let's rename this to mat underscore 01 let's align this in the center like so let's put it below so we can see yeah that is pretty good then you can animate the U as well so let's go to one second and select the do it and the U text hit P to bring down the position properties create a keyframe and drag those keyframes to around 2 seconds then I'm gonna bring down the U just by holding shift right over there and bring up the do it by holding shift or just like that and then we can select the U text layer and and then I'm gonna change the track map from none to alpha inverted now we have this really simple animation which looks really cool actually and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to select the mat hit ctrl D to duplicate it bring this down about do it text and change the track mat let's turn this on and change the track mat to alpha inverted so now we have an animation like that and you can add absolutely any kind of animation that you want to go with you know you can make it really complex as well if I go into our main comp you can see we have this really cool looking animation and it is really simple and easy to create you can add a footage as well and then what you can do is maybe if I just pre comp this call this scene underscore 01 and hit ok so now we have our scene 1 you can duplicate it by hitting ctrl D so now we have scene 2 we can drag it right over there somewhere around three seconds go into scene 2 I can do some changes you can change the text you can also change the overlay color now to fill pretty quick change this to something like yellow maybe something like that you can also make it gradient if you want to but just for now I'm just going to keep it yellow if I go to main comp you can see we have something like that 
maybe I'm going to scene two. Let's bring this back like one second. Not the media. Select it, hit U to bring down the position properties. And I'm gonna bring the media out just like right over there at the beginning. This one as well. Let's bring this keyframes back. Let's go into main comp. Yep, there we have it. And you can replace the text two of the scene two. So you can go in scene two, text 01. I think I need to add a text two. So we can go right over there where it says text 01. Duplicate it, control D, and replace it with our scene two. So you can just select it, hold Alt, and um, just drag it right over there. So it's going to replace it. And the same for the media. So I'm going to select this media. Hit control or I'll rename this first of all and let's go 01. Hit control D to duplicate it and replace the media 01 with the media 02. Just hold Alt and just drop it right over there. And now what we can do is we can just replace this with a different image. Maybe this one I'll go with. So now we you can see we have two different image. Now you can see we have this really weird problem. And to fix this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this media as well, which I forgot to do it. So we should have something like that. And you can create like 10 to 20 or as many as slide animation that you want. You can also change the animation of the slide. You can bring this from top to bottom or something like that or create some really different shapes as well. You can also add your logo. So if I just go into text 2. Let's go to scene 2 and text 2. We can delete this and add any logo that you want. So now you have an Adidas logo, so you can just drop in like so. Maybe I'll just scale this down a bit and add a fill so we can see it. And if I go back in the main com, you can see we have our logo. It looks really, really cool. You can do some crazy stuff, you know, you can add some really cool animation. The main uh, aim behind this tutorial is to give you guys an idea to create some different and really cool looking slide animation which is simple at the same time but looks really nice, really clean and really professional. So yep, that is the basic animation and that is really simple, you know, pretty easy to create but I hope this, you know, tutorial will help you in some other the way and yep, that's a wrap for today. I hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.